Joining us on the show right now is the pop idol, beautiful diva herself, Paulini. <laughs> Paulini, <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> Hi, hi! Thank you for having me. Oh, our absolute <laughs> pleasure. We we love you here at OX. You're, a, you're one of our oh. one of our favourites, Paulini. Oh, thank you. I, I remember coming in uh, last time, and it was yeah, it was absolutely. I had so much fun. So I think fun. from memory, it was like the um, the first ever. You were the first ever voice here on OX oh. Gold. Oh, okay. Well, this is good. This is good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we've got you to I talk. To set the, I had to set the bar. <laughs> and it's been set very high. <laughs> Don't know how I got a gig here, but... <laughs> oh, babe, you, 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 you bring the goods. You bring oh, the goods. <laughs> Pauline, you know how to make a boy blush. <laughs> now, but we're not here to talk about that, Pauline. We're here to talk about your new single, By My Side, from your new album, yeah, Come Alive. Yeah, I love it. Uh, sorry. Thank you, thank you. Um, you know that that song was uh, like a late addition to the the album Come Alive. It, I just I basically wrote that song like I think six months ago. Wow! And uh, yeah, and we, we I was just in the studio writing with a really good friend of mine, Adam Riley, and um, um, you know after the after the whole being in the studio the whole day, we kind of were like, oh my gosh, this is really kind of sounding awesome. Um, and you know the the song's also um inspired by my sister, who is a survivor of cancer and uh and she's been a massive a huge role model in my life she She was the one who kind of started singing in my family, yeah, so it's a very uplifting song it's uh yeah it's you know it's it, it just basically says you know having having that special person or whatever it is your faith or or your partner or your mom dad whatever having that person by your side and you know and and knowing that you'll get through whatever it is yeah. with, with them it, it, it is very catchy. I, I I think I want to use the word infectious in a good way when oh, I describe because yeah. <laughs> it, it is. I was listening it to it in, to it in the office uh, the other week, and it's like, my goodness, this is amazing. Oh, and, thank you. But it's it's not the only song on your album that uh, is inspired f- by family members. Every time I see your picture, I cry. Uh, tell us about yeah. that song. Well, that song, we were kind of going through a few covers, like old school covers, and I wanted to remix something, um, you know, that was quite old. And I I came across that song and um, instantly I connected with the lyrics because I, I lost my brother when he, I was, I think I was seven, eight years old. Um, and I connected with that song, like, instantly. I was, you know, getting all emotional while I was listening to it. And I said, look, I, I really like to... Um, redo this song and um, have it on the album, and that's basically that's that's just a, a song that um, reminds me a lot about my brother because I was quite close to him, and um, you know he died in, in in an accident. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's just another tribute, touching to, and beautiful. It, when, I was, it is. <laughs> when I was researching uh, you, Pauline, there's, there's not much dirt on you out there, but has it really been six years <laughs> since since your last album? It has been. It has been. I'm like a. I'm like a has been now. <laughs> <laughs> never, Pauline. No, never. Oh, oh, thank you. No, it, but it has been a long time. Like seriously, I. Let, uh, let's let's know, call everyone. it a well earned rest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a, a long but vacation. You know, <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Um, I. You know, after the Young Divas, after we released the second album, I really needed time to take a break and go overseas, and not not go overseas, but just to take a break and really kind of figure out where I wanted to go um, with my music and what direction I wanted to take. Um, and I, 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 I've always wanted to write my own song. Yeah. So um, basically, after that, I got signed to uh, an awesome publishing label, and then. I just kind of immerse myself in in songwriting, really, you know. And um, you know, I, I've I've always been gigging, but uh, a lot of the gigs are corporate, private gigs. So you know, I've never really kind of been out in the public. Um, Doing but your own yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I, for the last five or six years, I've I've basically been in the studio writing this album. Oh wow! Um, yeah, so it, it like my first single from the album. Um, is is a song I wrote four years ago. Wow, that's yeah, a all long that. time yeah. in the making. Uh, yeah, very long time. I think I took <laughs> I, I took too much time. Yeah, but uh, it's finally here, and I'm I'm proud of it because I like 
I, I basically, this is my heart, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, um, uh, giving to, to my fans and, and to the public. So I, I hope they do like it and connect with it. I can't remember what I was doing four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Oh, I must have been in the club or something. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what can we expect from the, from this album? What sort of sounds can we expect? It's an adult contemporary uh, pop sound. You know, it's it's quite. Uh, uh, I think the age group would be like from twenty five up. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, and it's it's basically an adult contemporary album, but it's very very pop. You know, it's still got pop elements going well, in so there. There's and, a good chance uh, it'll be remixed and put into the clubs. Right, you know, yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. I've I've had a few um, DJs kind of contact me already about doing a few um, uh, remixes, and I can't wait. I, I can't wait to hear them back. Yeah, yeah. And, and apart from releasing great music, you've been doing your bit for the gay community. Uh, you've just finished doing uh, HIV testing week for New South Wales with yeah, Acorn. Yeah. How was that? Oh, it's been so good. Um, I'm I'm so happy to be like a part of it, just because you know I had no idea that it was it was uh, it was increasing um, quite fast. So um, for me, uh, if if we can put a stop to it now, you know, before before it gets um, worse, then then I'm I'm all for that. Like I, everyone that's organising the um, the the whole program is has been absolutely great, and I'm I'm 100 percent behind it. You know, I think I think. We need to let people out there know that there's nothing wrong with, you know, like going and getting tested. It's 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 just like every other disease. It's better to catch it now than later. Exactly. Now, on a lighter note, here on the show, we like to uh, do a, a little segment called our four and a half questions, where we ask you four and a half really quick four questions. Four and a half? Yes, yes. There's, there's a half <laughs> question. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, we we ask big questions. You throw back the first thing you think of. Uh, question number one, are you ready to play? Yeah. Well, that wasn't question number one, but I'm just asking if you're ready to play as we go into question number one. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm Beautiful. ready. <laughs> All right. Question number one, what was the last thing you bought? Last thing I bought, my wallet. Your wallet? My, my Louis Vuitton wallet. Oh, a real one yeah. or a fake yes, Bali a one? Uh, oh, babe, a real one. A real one? A real one so from Bondi. <laughs> 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 Question number two. Tell us something you have never revealed about yourself in an interview. Uh, okay, I'm going to... Oh, I don't want to reveal this because it's so, it's so weird. But, okay, because I'm, 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 I'm sweet with whatever, but my, I've got the worst feet. <laughs> What's wrong with your feet? Oh, babe, babe. No, beauty. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even want to say it. No. Yeah, I'm so got, we're I'm not got, getting pedicures yeah. or anything. <laughs> no, I do. No, 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 I do. It's just that I've got just the weirdest shaped feet. So okay, I don't. Massive fan. When I get when I get my millions, I will definitely do an operation. A little bit of foot surgery. Is, is, yes, <laughs> exactly. A bit of plastic surgery on my feet. <laughs> is there such a thing? To, can you can you do that? I don't know. I'm just hoping. <laughs> we'll, we'll go to Thailand. We'll make it happen. Question number three. What's the worst thing to happen to you whilst performing? Oh, while performing. Oh, okay. This is, okay. I, I was on tour and, and the Young Beavers, uh, we, were, we were all on tour and the worst thing that happened to me was um, to, to band boys um, because we all have water on stage, bottles of water, and they had put salt in my water. Eee. And I was, you know, I was performing, I was up to my third song and, um, you know, I was just dying to have a sip of water and, um, yeah, just went for it and it was disgusting. It oh, was yuck. so salty. Yeah, I kind of, I just, yeah, it, it wasn't good. I hope you got them the back. Boys, <laughs> yes, I did. The boys got it. Oh, <laughs> <good>. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four, Your fav- what was your favourite toy as a kid? My favourite toy, I had this panda that my sister gave me and it was my favourite ever panda bear kind of thing. Aww. So, yeah, it was white and, yeah, it was, it was my favourite panda. That's adorable. <laughs> and the half question. <laughs> oh, Do you... Question? The half Do question. you what? Yep. 
It's half of a question. <laughs> the other half's missing. Um, but you just got to come up with an answer. <laughs> oh, okay. Do I have a partner? Oh, do you? No. Oh, single. <laughs> a single lady. Are you looking for a gentleman? Oh, no, no. No? I don't. Uh, I'm not. No. They're too much I just work. got out of it. Yeah, I just got out of a relationship. No, hell no. Oh, hell good, no. good, yeah. You can you can join us on, on Team Single. Hashtag that one. Final plug, right. poor lady. Where can people get your sig- uh, signal? Oh, gosh, if I can say the word. Single <laughs> and your album. Well, um, more of my album's out on iTunes and every, uh, like, retailers, H&B and all of that, Sanity. Um, and the single's um, out on iTunes, iTunes also. So, yeah, just, just go on there. Beautiful Paulini, thank you so much for joining us on the show and we hope to have you again soon. Oh, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Andrew and Troy Show on OX Gold. We're going to be driving you home.